Good morning. So, we just arrived at the shipper, as you can see. And we've already checked in. We've found out that it's not going to cover the whole trailer, uh, which means that I can have stuff up front if I had a header board or my other uh, tarps that I'm not going to be using. Uh, so we don't need to clear that out, uh, but we do need to get set up. And this is a tarp load, so I'm going to try to get some of that tarp footage. Uh, I know I haven't gotten a good shot of a tarp load yet, but we're going to try to do that today, so you guys stick around. So while we're waiting, let's talk preparation for the load. Whenever I arrive somewhere, obviously you have to go in to check in. Good practice would be to read the signs on your way in. In this particular instance, there was a sign that said you must strap before you move. And so that right there tells me that I'm going to need straps. Before I arrived, I already knew that this was a tarp load. So in preparation, get some of my straps out, get some of my moving blankets, as well as both tarps that I'm going to need. When I was inside, I asked how long is the load? This will let you know whether or not you need to remove anything up front, like a header board or extra tarps that you have strapped to the very front of your trailer. And this will also give you a good idea, if not exactly what you're gonna need as far as your tarps are concerned. And you can only do so much as far as getting prepared. Don't overthink this. Just get a little bit good to go, ready in hand. And if the company allows you to start to tie down the load while they are loading, go ahead and do that. Being as quick as you can out here is gonna save you time. Obviously, it's gonna save you some time. It's gonna make you more money. If you're not eating up those hours and you're able to have all of your drive time, you can maximize how much you can make out here on the road. Now, don't be concerned if at first it takes you a long time to either secure the load or to tarp the load. Flatbed drivers, we were all there at one point in time. Nobody came out into this game and was able to tie down and tarp as quickly as somebody that's been doing it for 15 to 20 years. So don't be concerned about how much time it takes you to originally secure and tarp your loads. Be concerned with doing it right. The more you do it right, Perfect practice makes perfect. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And now that we are prepared, we are waiting on the customer. The customer is not waiting on us. Remember, we're professionals. Act like it. Wait on the customer. Don't ever let the customer wait on you. Well, we're finally loaded. Uh, it took a little while, but you know what? That's part of the job. So, let's go have a look. Now, when we were talking about the preparation as far as getting straps on the load and stuff like that while they were loading, I didn't really feel comfortable doing that simply because they're just, it was kind of tight quarters on the passenger side. So, we're going to start from scratch from the get go, and I'm going to do a time lapse of the straps as well as the blankets. Really quickly, places to note that we're definitely gonna need blankets are gonna be obviously be these sharp corners right here in the back. Up top, it actually looks pretty good. We don't need a blanket across there, even though there's a little bit of a gap, that's not sharp. But I'll show you what I would do if it is sharp in between, which it is right there. So, I will, what I'll do is I'll have a strap going right over here and I'll I'll double lay the blanket and I'll show you what that looks like here shortly. Okay, so to show you what I'm talking about, here up we're up at the front now and 
right here we've got the the mattress pad is basically what it is it's a moving blanket um, but this pad covers all these sharp parts and then we've got the strap here but I've got enough in front as you can see it goes all the way up to here and whenever I tighten this strap down then I'm gonna fold this piece over and so I'm gonna have double coverage on these sharp parts here so it doesn't look like much now because I've got to tighten those straps first but it's easier for me to show you now you get your your uh, moving blankets in place and then you tighten those straps down then you fold them back over and you're double protected So as you can see up front, it is now doubled over. And I've got a double edge, or I've got a double layer of protection on these edges. And the same goes for the back back here. Okay, so the way I fold my tarps allows me to put my tarps in the very center of the load. And then whenever I go to unfold them, and they flap out on both sides, they're even on both sides. So I don't really have to do a whole lot of pulling and adjusting. I recommend folding your tarps that way, but not everybody does, does it that way. I mean, it's a, it's a personal thing, uh, but I'll show you what it looks like. Boom, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so where you wanna start is all four corners. And these ones, the, the two up here in the front, those are probably not going to move, but the two bungees in the back in the corner, you're gonna wind up moving those later, so don't worry about placement or getting those in the right spot. So the four in the corner, then you want to go to the middle, and I know this is the middle because there's my lettering, so you wanna secure the one in the middle, just come straight down with it. Doesn't have to be super tight. All we're really accomplishing with these first six bungees is keeping the, the tarp in place while you're actually tarping. After you get the first six bungees in place, actually what you wanna do is you want a bungee at the very edge, the back of the freight and the edge of the tarp. And you want to pull the very bottom nice and taut on both sides. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna keep this layer, the very bottom portion of the tarp from flapping, and it's gonna keep some of that wind out. Just a little tip to uh, get a little bit better fuel mileage. On this very back tarp, which you always wanna start in the back, uh, put your tarp up in the back first, that way the front tarp goes over the top. So when you're going down the road, that wind flow doesn't parachute this back uh, tarp and give you horrible fuel mileage. But up here in the very front, what you're going to see is I've crimped, I've made sure that I've used bungees that I've crimped really well. I took pliers and I crimped them. So these front bungees, they're going to be facing inward. And that way this point right here can easily put holes in your tarps. You'll thank me later for that little tip. Um, but just like the first three or four, you know, have them facing inward like that. And then once you get back here towards the back, they can be sticking out because there's not going to be any tarp there. Um, it's really self-explanatory. You know, obviously I'm using this bottom row of D-rings right here. And so whenever I go to finish up the bungee job on this or on both sides, I'll have a bungee on every single D-ring. Now, some people will go from this D-ring down around the rub rail and up to this D-ring using one for two. I personally don't do that. It's just personal preference, no big deal. But we're gonna go ahead and tie this up and then I'll show you what happens back here in the back. 
So once we've reached the back, what we've done is we've created a seam. I talked about this in one of my other videos, but we're back here towards the edge of the freight and we've taken a bungee, grabbed it at a D-ring that's close to the edge and pulled it straight down and straight down and back underneath. And we have the excess tarp hanging on the inside of that little seam. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna fold that in and then we're gonna connect both flaps on both sides. So now we gotta do the front tarp. And you get bonus points if you notice the very first two bungees that I put back there on the back. Think about it. All right, the rest of the tarp is pretty self-explanatory, but what I did up here up front, you can see that I just basically just kind of folded it back over itself. I tucked it in, and then I took one of the D-rings, fo folded it back over, and ran that bungee down and back. And then what I did with the excess up front, just really quickly, I just folded it up, threw my tarps over it, threw a strap over it, and we're good. We're down the road. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was really informative and I hope you learned at least one new thing. Uh, if you did, give it this, you know, give this video a like. Check out one of my other videos here. And remember, stay driven.